talk about the proper activity for soil fill test. This video is intended for us to have a little description of how the sampling and analysis process for the soil fill test project. First, we want to show you the main equipment that we are going to use for soil sampling, which is the hand drill. We use Auger S0110 type and this equipment consists of Auger sleeve, drilling rod, turning rod, and some other supporting tools. After the sampling equipment is ready to use, the next step is operating this equipment to get the sample soil. We will show you how does it work. First, clean the area around the drilling hole. Second, attach the auger sleeve to the drilling rod and then mount the turning rod. Press the drill into the ground while turning. After the soil sample filled it up, then carefully remove. Remove the soil samples from the drill to make a description of the soil type and ingredients. Save the soil in the sample container and label it. Repeat the drilling procedure until reaching the certain depth. If the water is found in the drilling process, then the water is taken a sample by using baler. The water samples were then analyzed for pH, electrical conductivity, chloride, sulfate, and its aluminum content. The field pH and the field pH peroxide test provide a useful indication of the existing and potential acidity level in the soil. It may provide an indication of acid sulfate soil presence. They are purely qualitative show us the acid that has been or could be produced through the oxidation process. pH is a measure of the hydrogen ion concentration of a solution. The method that is used to analyze this parameter based on the measurement of potentiometric or electrometric hydrogen ion activity by using pH meter. This method involves conducting electrical conductivity tests of water sample using a conductivity meter. Electrical conductivity is measured by conducting electrodes using potassium chloride solution as the standard solution. The high result of electrical conductivity indicates the accumulation of large dissolved salts. High salt accumulation will cause bonds between soil particles to become weak so that the soil is easily eroded. The procedure for determining chloride content in water sample is by titrimetric method. The high level of chloride can cause the damage of water pipe. This test method is used for the provision of sulfate content in water using turbidimetry. This measurement provides the sulfate level in soil water. The higher the sulfate content can cause problems which are odor and corrosion in piping from the result of sulfate reduction to hydrogen sulfate in an aerobic condition. The instrument that is used to analyze the aluminum content is ICPOS. It is one method of optical emission spectrometry. The principle of this method is when plasma energy is given to an analysis sample from outside, the component elements are excited. That's all about the soil field test activity that we can show you. And on behalf of Peter Nula Perdana, I would say thank you to watch this video. Hopefully, this video can be useful for you all.